Please. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, take a look at my wares. Ha, <laughs> your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having, no offense. None taken, sir, but please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but I'm no beggar. Not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm gonna make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Miss Gillingham smiles and says kind words, but I know she's lost her marbles, especially since her son died. How interesting. I don't suppose you know what happened to her son. Jack! Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't know him well, but I heard he was a nice enough chap. His old ma still thinks he's around. Tell me about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. <laughs> the poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but she has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I meant no offense, Mr. Nightingale. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. And what should I do then, sir? Should I join the wet boot boys like so many others? No thanks. I'd rather be a bad seller than a dead gang member. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? He's a caretaker for the poor, is he not? Something like that, yes. Sorry, I don't know where he is. Goodbye. Are you certain you're not lost, sir? You seem quite the stranger to these parts. It's locked. It's locked, all right. Your kind's not welcome here, sir. Come now, Lottie. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. But I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No. But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back. I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. 
You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Mm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. Oh no, Miss Paxton, you really don't know my kind. You have no idea who I am. All right, okay. No need to get all worked up. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh, you want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your Royal Highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton. The sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? 
Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. This Seymour worries me. Perhaps Sean knows something about him. It's locked. Why the long face, Doctor? It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Wonders never cease. Scowl managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. 
People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. You again? What do you want? Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. locked all right. I can't believe I'm doing this.
much noise. A vampire kills in utter. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I cannot enter. Huh! <laughs> 